Welcome to part one. In this video, we're going to be talking about disarming your callers. Now, it might sound a little bit strange, but actually, oftentimes when someone gets a call just out of the blue, uh, their reaction is something like this picture here on the left. They could wonder why you're calling them. They could wonder why you're bothering them. They're going to want to know what you want, uh, especially if the place is vacant. So everyone just has a different personality. So they might be kind of paranoid and wondering why you want to make a cash offer on their property. And not to mention that many people may not even know that that property is vacant. So the first thing that we have to do is jump in and to address that. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some of their issues and some of their preconceptions. We're going to talk about some of their past experience, uh, trying to find common ground, making them feel at ease. So then we'll look at some questions. How did you get this number? What will you pay? Do you think I'm desperate? So the first thing we want to look at is preconceptions. So if you're writing a letter to someone and you tell them that you're a cash buyer and you want to make an offer on their property, many people may think that you're a vulture or that you're going to try and make a super low ball offer. So first you have to make them comfortable. You have to dismiss that preconception and get them comfortable with you. So a common response or concern would be that you may lowball them. And it's natural for the caller to feel that way at first. So it's your job to let them know that that's definitely not the case. Try to reassure them. Before we get into that, of course, you want to make sure that they understand that we'll need to find out a little bit more information before we can uh, really help them. So at this point, you can ask that person for a little bit of time to talk. Now, many of these people may have past experience, especially if they have a ton of equity. And it's also possible that they may have gotten letters before. So it's definitely easy to understand why they might be defensive. It's best in these situations to put yourself in these people's shoes to try and understand where they're coming from. So if they're acting abrasive, or if they're kind of angry that you've uh, written this letter, it's important to put yourself in their shoes and kind of understand where they're coming from. Maybe they're having a bad day. Maybe they've gotten letters like this before. And maybe they've been given offers before that were just very insulting to them. Next, we need to find common ground. And this is going to be true for anyone that you ever speak to. In building any kind of relationship, it's important that you find common ground, something that you can both speak about. It could even be something as simple as a common interest, common hobby, something to make them feel comfortable. So after you've done this, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to build some rapport. And next, we want to make them feel at ease. So a lot of times, I'll make sure that they understand that I'm not there to try and beat them up, show them a lot of respect, give them some flattery. If they have equity, for example, you can compliment them on that. Another thing that you can do to make them feel at ease is kind of based off the conversation, you can judge if they're a fast talker, if they talk very slowly, and you can kind of match that tone and that, uh, that style to make them feel more at ease. So the key here is just to sort of mirror them. All right, so here are some questions that you may commonly find people asking. So the first thing they're going to probably ask you is, how did you get this number? So the best thing i found to do in these cases is to third party all of that off. So you don't want to make them feel uncomfortable. You want to tell them that you were digging through records to try and find uh, that information, for example. So I'll usually just tell them something to the effect of, hey, I buy data, I'm an investor. So they just give me all of this information. And honestly, I'm not sure where they get the information from. I just take that information and I use it. So if you're on a list, I'm not really sure how you got there. It's just recorded somewhere. Another question they're going to ask right off the bat is, what do you want to pay? So usually in these cases, I'm pretty honest with people. I'll tell them just honestly, I'm not sure yet. I definitely want to make an offer on the property. But honestly, I can't make you a fair offer without actually going inside. And then after that, you can kind of get into what they actually want, which is, of course, a different conversation altogether. But you can't really give an honest answer to this question without seeing the property. And finally, another question you might get is, do you think I'm desperate? So some people may feel that the only reason that you're writing them is because they're super desperate. So they feel like you're kind of there just to take advantage of them. So someone asks you this question, they say, uh, you know, oh, you think I'm desperate. Step back for a second and think about what that response means. So what does it mean when they say that? Why are they saying that? Maybe someone in the past has treated them really poorly. Maybe they thought someone was going to take advantage of them. So just be aware of that and kind of treat them with respect. Maybe they're asking that because they really are desperate and they don't want to acknowledge that. So that's just something else to be aware of. So it's just really important to kind of tell them, uh, you know, if you, you are desperate, uh, you know, maybe I'm not the right person for you can definitely make you an offer on the property and I can definitely close quickly, but I'm not here to take advantage of you. And I think that usually makes folks a little bit more comfortable. And so that's how you disarm them. That's how you make them feel a little bit more comfortable uh, and a little bit less paranoid about your call.